Well, after much anticipation, Campus News Station is back. I know. There was no anticipation for our return. No one watches our news program. Let's face it, we report the news once a week. By then, it's not news, it's nothing. It's old. Plus, with all the channels on cable that you could be watching that run high quality performance material, why would you tune in to watch student content from this campus? I mean, last night, for instance, we aired a film about a campus squirrel named Crazy Carl. Crazy Carl. I digress. So yes, we're back in the studio this week to begin our first taping of CNS. And frankly, I don't think anyone is more excited than I am. Who am I? I'm the station manager, Chris Shapiro. Yeah, we're back. Isn't that enough news for you? My name? What do you want my name for? Are you going to stalk me or something? What's next? My social security number? My blood type? <laughs> you want to call me something? You call me TD. That's what I am here. I'm the technical director. TD. That's what you call me. And if I like you, I'll let you call me Razor. Hey, look, honestly, half the time we make the news up here as we go. No quote from a source? No problem. We'll make some up. No source? Let's create one. That's how we do things around here. We don't report the news. We create the news. No one watches us anyway. Heck, I don't even watch the show. Hello there. I'm Doug Flavor, head news anchor here at CNS. And yes, we're back for another action-packed breaking news year, even of the highest caliber. I even went out and bought a Parker. I think that's what you call it. I'm not reading that. What you saw? I'm not reading that. Yeah. It's not mine. It's yours. Is it? All of it's yours. Yeah, it's all yours. You should be reading that. Oh. Okay, back to the beginning. And don't talk I'm... like that. You sound like a freak. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Doug Flavor, head news anchor here at CNS. And yes, we're back for another action-packed breaking news year of the highest caliber. I even went out and bought a parka. I think that's what you call it. Poncho. He means a poncho. He went out and bought a poncho for when he does the weather report. Anyway, back to more pressing matters. Unfortunately, our viewing market has dropped 50% this year poses a problem. You see, we used to have two diehard fans who watched the show every night, even though it was the same show all week. Who were they? Well, the first was an 88-year-old retired lifeguard who went by the name of Harry. And recently, he went to patrol that great swimming pool up in the sky. He's no longer with us. The other person is an uh, over-energetic freshman who we call Fanboy. And he appears to have no other life other than CNS. I hate that kid. He followed me home last night. Wanted to know when we were going to start filming for the next semester. Harry never did that. I like Harry. We miss Harry. I mean, basically because he was a major ratings booster for us. He would sit in that recliner all day and watch our show. I think it had something to do with him not being able to get out of the chair that kept him watching. What? Harry's dead? Why? Hey, what's happening, man? Hey, how's it been, man? Long time to see. Yeah. Oh, wait. So how'd that blind date last night go, huh? What'd you think of Shelly? Would've been nice to know ahead of time she didn't speak English. Hey, man, that's my sister's cousin! Morning, fellas. Morning? It's 6 p.m. at night. He, um, operates on a different operating grid. What? So how's your summer? Pretty good. Yeah? I liked it a lot. Yeah? Yes, Doug Flavor is our head news anchor. We auditioned for news anchors last year. He was the only one who was interested. I mean, I even paid people to come to those auditions so that I would have some reason as to why I couldn't give him the job. But they never showed. He was the only one. I had to give it to him. You bet your steel-toed boots I'm excited about our new fall semester. I got in shape over the summer. I was on this water and lettuce diet. Lost about 345 fat cells. Yeah, I counted. I don't like him either. Him or fanboy. I hate them both. I think people are just jealous of me. I mean, let's face it. 
Everybody knows the man on the camera. The man behind the camera, not so much. I'll admit it, I'm pretty popular around campus. I guess you just say, people want to be me. They wish they could be me. Hey, duh, campus news sucks. Yeah, learn to read the teleprompter. getting these videos. I demand to know. Linda is our head staff writer. She uh, writes all the news for us, goes out into the field, gets everything that we need. She's really the backbone of this operation. I mean, without her, we really would have to create all the news here. But her and Doug, they don't really uh, mesh at all. Um, I have no life because I have a 20 credit class load. So yeah, I really don't have time to be interviewing. I have to write the script for tonight. The rest of our crew includes John, our switchboard operator, who doesn't say more than five words to anyone, frankly. Then there's Roxanne, our co-anchor, whose best friend is Amir, and Carl, who's our camera assistant. Hi, I'm Roxanne, but uh, you can call me Roxanne, and I'm the co-anchor. Guys, can we start over? This is my bad side, and I need to fix my hair because I'm trying to make it big here, and this isn't going to work out, and um, can we take a break? I need to get my nails done. <laughs> Guys, serious. Hello? So we're going to open with the statue dedication and run the B-roll of its construction. Chris, when you were at the ceremony, did you get any interviews from any of the students? Yeah, type them up for you. Hang on. John Smith is one of your sources? What? He was there. 500 in attendance? I thought the campus paper said only 250. What are you, mathematician? You round up. Carl, what? Where are you? Um, where am I calling? I'm, I'm using a, I'm using the payphone in the Highlands because my cell phone it fell, it fell in the snow. I don't want to talk about it. Listen, where are you right now? Why? Why? Because because we need you to film tonight. Listen, I'm, I'm running out of quarters. You get your sorry sagging butt to the studio because we need you. And if you're not there, you don't even want to know what's going to happen. And you owe me 25 cents. Last week, I asked Carl to paint the green screen. He asked me what color! TD is really hard on Carl. Actually, he's hard on everyone. I honestly don't think there's a person he doesn't hate. Maybe Chris. How would I describe the teamwork here at the station? <laughs> it's like a bunch of senior citizens trying to organize a rocket. <laughs> Take dos. So Chris, did you get any, any interviews for the statue package? I gave them to you. Those are quotes for the script. We still need footage of the students actually being there. Well, you should have told me that before I went there. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 Chris, really? Yeah, I mean, I was at the statue dedication. I'm part of the student body. You can just interview me. This is so unethical, not to mention it doesn't make any sense that I'm interviewing you in a hallway when we should be out at the statue. Look, first off, sweetheart, don't get all ethical with me. And second, it's raining outside, so there's no way we're going to trek across campus to stand in front of that statue. Fine, whatever. What are you doing? Typing the script into the prompter. Why, why are you making that face? What face? Your face. You look, look like you're in pain. This is my typing face. So, Chris, you were at the statue dedication this past Tuesday. Can you describe the event for us? Well, Linda, it was a uh, historic event of epic scale for Rockville University, and I'm quite proud to say that I was part of it. I'm sure. 
Now, some students on campus were disappointed with the appearance of the statue. What is your opinion of it? Well, it took me a while to figure out what it is. I mean, from the side, it kind of looks like a puma. Right. Moving you know? along, many organizations on campus have expressed concern over the possible threat of vandalism. Do you think the statue is in any threat? <laughs> what was the question? TD. Okay, so can you read my weekly weather question because I have to give it to Linda and sometimes I feel like she doesn't like me, so I really need you to read this. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's see what we got here. Huh? Clouds are formed from the following material. Cotton balls, cotton candy, cotton fibers, or water vapor. This needs work. This needs work. I know. I do all the work around here. Doug! What's the problem? Okay, I'm like having a breakdown right now. Okay, do you think that this eye is bigger than the other one? Do you mean your eyeliner? No, like like the actual eyeball, like. Um, like. Like, do you think? It's seriously. It's twice as big. Oh my gosh. Like are you like are you joking right now? No, I'm serious. Like you should get that checked out. Like maybe start wearing an eye patch. Shut up. I'm serious. So hey, since we didn't have a uh, crew meeting and all, I'm gonna fill you in here kinda on the spot. We're going to start back since this is the first show with Doug doing some, you know, welcome back, chit chat kind of stuff. After he's done with his spiel, uh, I'm going to need you to run some B roll footage of the statue dedication, all that stuff, you know, everybody in attendance and whatnot. Then we'll have Roxanne do her attempt at a weather report and then uh, basic rundown kind of stuff, you know what I mean? You go with that? Cool. So you're good? You got it? Yeah. Good talking to you. I sit a lot and I wait a lot. I have to wait till they get everything ready in the control room. Sometimes I talk to myself. Don't leave. I'm all alone. Lips is so big, they puffered up for the dentist. Knock on wood. Stand by. 